What's up guys, this is David from HowToGhost, and today I'm going to show you how to add Twitter's typeahead.js to Ghost to allow someone to search through all of your blog posts. So we do have a written post for this that I'll link in the description and you can see it here. And we do have the example code that I'm going to use here on GitHub. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you're up to date to the latest version of Ghost and you have the public API checked. So that's in labs and then public API because we're going to be using the API to set up the search. So the next thing you're going to do is once you have that checked, head to the main part of your blog, and then we need to edit the theme to get this code in. So the, the code we're going to be editing is the default.hbs file of the theme you're using. So this is just the stock Casper theme. Like you can see, it just looks like the normal Casper. And we're going to be adding search to it. So I'm not going to be adding any styling or anything like that. All that you can do later on and get it customized however you want. But I'm going to show you how to add the actual search functionality. So following along with the blog post, the first thing you need to do is you need to actually add the search input in. So you can go ahead and copy that and paste that wherever you want this in your theme, like wherever you want search to show up. So I'm just going to paste it right here. And so it's just going to be at the very top of the site. So I'm going to add a little bit of styling. just so it shows up in the middle of the page. So now, if we refresh the page, you can see we have the search input here, but obviously nothing's working, it's just an input. So after you have the input where you want, you need to actually include the typeahead.js, and we're gonna use the bundle because we need both the typeahead script and the bloodhound script that comes with it. So grab the script, and then in Casper, we're gonna put this at the very bottom below jQuery and all the other things. So now the type head script is in there and we can use the functions that it adds. So now this is an example of the get um, helper that we're going to use or the, the API that we're going to use. So what we're going to do is the ghost URL API is basically ghost's way of finding the correct URL based on your blog. And we're going to get the posts and we're going to get all the posts. But we're actually going to limit it by field. I need to update this part. Uh, I already did this one. So we're going to get all the posts, and we're going to only get the two fields, though. The slug, which is the URL of the post, and the title of the post. So we're only going to get those two to try and keep the amount of data being sent down. But if you want more information than that, you can either remove the fields entirely to get every field, or you can add more fields in. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing go, we're going to do a get call to get the URL, get all the posts, with these two fields. And when that's done, we're gonna put that data into a variable. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this script that I have here, and then I'm gonna walk you through it over on the actual, um, the actual theme, just cause it looks a little bit nicer and we can go through it together. So, like I said, we're going to do a get to the URL, get all the posts, and give me back these two fields. Once we've done that, we're sending the data back, and we're putting the data.posts, which is how the data is returned. The data is returned in like different trees. So we're taking the data.posts, which is the post data, and making that the search data. Now we need to set up Bloodhound, which is type ahead search engine. So we're doing var search equals a new Bloodhound. And so what we're going to do is you need these two fields uh, just make the top one. We have a title because that's what we're going to be searching. If you want to search something else, you can change that to something else. And then the data, we have local data and is search data. So the local data is the data post that we returned. And now we need to actually build the type ahead. So the type ahead, this right here is the selector for what we have. So it's the same as this. I'm just telling it where to go. And then we're saying make a new type ahead. This is where you can add like options and stuff, but we're just leaving that blank as it is for now. Name is search, source is search. So the source you want to be the Bloodhound engine. So the source is search, which the Bloodhound engine has all the data in it. And then templates is just a small template. So I made an empty template where if it doesn't match anything, it does that template. And then if it gets a suggestion, like it finds the correct post based on what you're looking for, it's going, I'm going to build this HTML. So, you know, I have a new paragraph where there's a link to the slug, which is the URL. So I'm setting up a link to the URL with the title and then the end of the link. Uh, actually, I need a slash P here. 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and just create the HTML for that. And that's what each search result is going to look like. It's going to be based on this return URL. Now, if it fails, we do want the um, console to throw errors. So that way we know that it failed. Um, one thing that I also have is I have the site search.show. So if it fails, then you don't want the search to show. So I'm gonna do display none. Oh wait, yeah, display none. And then, so if it's successful, then it'll show. If it's not successful, then it'll hide. So that's just something to add. So if something breaks, they don't have a broken search. They just have nothing like they do now. So that's just a good fallback. So now that we've gone through the code, we can go ahead and refresh the home page. And then when we search, you can see we have a list of all of our posts. You can see welcome. Like I said, this has all the posts. You can do old post. And when you click on it, it takes you to that actual post page. And the way it does that is because I actually set up the HTML here where the URL is that specific URL and the title is that specific title. So from here, you can really customize in many different ways. I'll have a link to the actual type ahead documentation that talks all about other options you can do. The CSS you can do just like any other input. You can style it however you want. You can style the background. So like for example, if I wanted the background of this to be different, you can uh, take the TT menu. So here's like the menu. I just made it so it doesn't display and you, you, know, you can add a background color, you know, to green or whatever. Like this is totally customizable and you can get it set up however you want. All of that is in the Twitter documentation. Um, and it's a great way to add search. It's very lightweight, works very well, and it's integrated directly in with the API so you're not doing any RSS feed scraping or anything like that. Um, so it's definitely one of the best options out there right now. The best one I've found that's free and easy to use and doesn't take a whole lot of overhead. Um, so like I said, we have a text-based post on this with all of the all the code that I just used. And then we also have um, the GitHub example where if you want to go and pull it down and check it out yourself, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Don't forget to turn on the API. If you don't have the API turned on, you'll get a console log that says, you know, you don't have the API turned on. And that's it. We try and come out with new videos every Wednesday. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to leave a comment below or hit us up on Twitter. Happy to help out with this. Search is something a lot of people want. So let us know if you run into any trouble or if you want any suggestions or help, just hit us up. We're, we're happy to do that. So thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.